Hey, what's up guys? So yeah, my I'm feeling a bit better today, better than I was yesterday um, at, in regards to my cold because as some of you may know, I've had a cold for the past few days, but still not 100%. Um, still don't really have my voice back 100%. And yeah, just very phlegmy. I just finished uh, picking up and dropping off those kids that I sometimes pick up from school. And I'm just about to go pick up Harry from school. In case some of you guys were wondering like how I got into that, like picking up these kids from school. It's like a while ago, like I wanna say um, probably about a year and a half ago to a a year to a year and a half ago, I started doing Uber, and for a short time, I did it for, you know, a couple months. And when I started doing that, like, uh, friends of the family and, like, some people got wind that I was doing Uber, and they just started asking me to give them rides for cash. So, like, I started doing that, and I stopped doing Uber, like, it wasn't really my thing, and I just, uh, but I continued giving people rides for cash, like, people that I know and stuff. It's like, yeah, it's, it's cool. That's why sometimes I say, oh, I'm dropping my neighbor off or I'm picking up these kids from school. It's because of that. Which brings me to my next topic, school. And should you go to school? Hey, what's up, guys? So as I said earlier, the topic of today's video is whether you should go to school. And by school, I mean, I'm not talking about high school. If, if you're still in high school or you're younger than that, like, yes, you should probably definitely be going to school. But as for college or university, it might not be for every single person. I recently saw a video that Casey Neistat made and he kind of talked about this. He was saying, sometimes people ask him, oh, should I go to school for film? Should I study film, this or that? Basically at the end of his video, he said, going to school for something like that is a big stepping stone. Although school might not necessarily teach you how to be creative. It might not teach you how to be able to tell a good story but it definitely will help in some way or another. A lot of you guys are probably Casey Neistat fans, especially if you guys vlog yourselves or if you follow other vloggers, you probably follow Casey Neistat. You know that he didn't go to film school and um, he became a professional filmmaker. Just to give you an idea, here are a couple really successful people who did not go to college or dropped out of college or even dropped out of high school. Um, everybody knows Steve Jobs, you know, founder of Apple. He was a college dropout. Um, Richard Branson, he was the founder of Virgin, Virgin uh, Airways, Virgin Mobile, Virgin uh, Records. He was a high school dropout and he had dyslexia and he had bad academic performance. But um, yeah, he was extremely successful. Um, Dave Thomas, he's the founder of Wendy's Restaurants. He was a high school dropout. Michael Dell, the founder of Dell Computers. He was a college dropout. And actually in his dorm room is where he started the foundation of what was going to become uh, the company Dell. And the list goes on and on, but these guys are kind of like the select few. They're kind of like a um, the special cases, I would say. I definitely want to say school's good for a lot of people. Like if you go to school, it's a very clean cut path to make a decent living for yourself. Like especially if you want to do something like go on to become a doctor or a lawyer or something. Those are things that you definitely have to go to school for. You have to have a very academic sort of training for those kind of things. And it's a very clear cut path. It's pretty much, you know, you study your ass off, you'll get there, you'll get, you'll land this job and then they will give you money. It's a very clean cut path. It's like there's not much variation from that, you know what I mean? Whereas on the other hand, there's the creative sort of careers, which there isn't a very set path. You know, I myself, I went to school to study graphic design and I graduated and that, I, yeah, that is kind of a clean cut path, but there are also other ways. Like there's probably a lot of people at, um, such as my dad. My dad never graduated from university with a degree in graphic design, yet he's a graphic designer. It's, like, it's not like something where you, it's really necessary, but let me tell you, going to school to study graphic design was definitely a big help for me. Although I realized by the time I graduated that it wasn't really something that I really wanted to go into a career right away. Maybe later on down the line, I'm not even sure myself yet, but like after high school and your first years of college, it's also kind of a time where you kind of discover what you really want to do. It may be what you're studying and it might not be, you may change your mind. And that's just kind of how it goes guys. And I think it's a good time to kind of figure out what you want to do. One thing that I think college could work on is kind of like cater more to like the entrepreneurial like mindset. They, 
one thing universities don't really teach you is kind of how to think for yourself or come up with like your own ideas. It's kind of a very by the book sort of way of learning things and I honestly like I think that's good for some people but it's not good for it's not the best for everybody. It's kind of like a cookie cutter way of education and I feel like the majority of people probably benefit from that sort of education but then there are a lot of people who aren't looking for that sort of thing if you guys know what I mean. I can tell you guys right now that even some of the people that I went to college with um, that were studying graphic design with me, some of them graduated, went right into getting graphic design jobs and they're getting on with their lives and others didn't, um, just like myself. But one thing is, is that like school definitely helps you, even if you don't learn anything creative, they help you with like the technical aspects of a lot of things that you might not necessarily learn if it weren't for school. I also kind of think like now, you know, when I when I went into college, I was 17 years old. Now I'm 26 years old. I think that if I were to go and take classes again or go to college at this age, I would have a very different mindset right now than when I went into school because going right out of high school into college, it didn't really feel like college and I didn't have a very professional outlook on things. Like to me, it almost felt like I was continuing on to another four years of high school which isn't necessarily something I was too thrilled about at the time. And one cool thing about my major, I can't speak for others because I am i don't know, but there were people who were around my age in my class, and there were also people who were in their mid-20s, late-20s, and even older than that, in their 30s and even 40s. And it kind of showed like the difference between some of those people and the people my age. Um, the way they their outlook on the classes was very different. They were definitely more serious about it. They were in there because they knew, okay, I want to do this so I can make more money right away because I need to make more money right now. Whereas for me, I was sitting in a college classroom because it was kind of what was expected of me at the time. But I'll tell you guys, I'm glad that I did it and I'm glad that I did graduate. I, I didn't slack off. I worked really hard to graduate within four years. And um, I'm glad that I did it. But at the same time, if I didn't do it, just because I know how my personality is, I wouldn't have been sitting idle. I would have been doing something. So whether I was doing that or if I was doing something else, I knew that I wouldn't be wasting my time. There were even times when I was in college, like I think I was going into my last year and I was thinking to myself, geez, like I wish I could just drop school right now and focus on music. But I'm glad that I didn't because I only had one year left to go. And within a year, I probably wouldn't have accomplished that much musically as I thought in my head at the time. So I'm glad that I did it. So guys, like if you have the opportunity to go to school, I would definitely take that opportunity unless you have something already going for you. And I guess the message that I want to uh, leave you guys with at the end of this video is just because something's expected of you or just because something is the norm doesn't mean that that's what you need to do. In the end, it's your life. And you might get some people talking behind your back, oh, you know, that guy is such a loser, he doesn't, he's not going to school or anything, he's just sitting at home working on his computer. It's like, you're taking chances to better your future. Whether the path you take is going to school, a very formal path, or you're taking a path that you're creating for yourself, neither one is better than the other. So don't worry about what other people are telling you and don't let other people influence you in your decisions if you really believe in what you're doing. If you're, if you're starting up a company and you're young, you're like 17 or 18 years old, people are pushing you to go to school, it's like school will be there later. If you have this idea right now and you're making good headway on it and that's where you feel in your heart that you should be, go with that. Go with that gut feeling. So yeah, hopefully um, this will help out a lot of my younger viewers. And if you're older, you guys, like if you're like in your mid to late 20s and you haven't gone to school yet and you've been thinking about it, you've been putting it off, you know, you can always go back. There's, you're not, you're never too old to go to school again, guys. So just remember that. So guys, I hope that helps some of you guys out if you're battling with this um, decision in your head. So if this is the first video of mine that you've ever seen, Go check out my channel, I do a lot of music, I do a lot of covers, I do um, daily vlogs. Um, oh, I forgot to mention, you know, I, I haven't gone into working in a working for someone in graphic design, like I, I don't have a full graphic design job, but I do like freelance jobs from time to time, and it helps me a lot with my videos, like if I didn't go to 
college for this, I probably wouldn't know how to use like Adobe After Effects and all that. So it definitely does help me out. I do all my own graphic design for my job. I mean, for my my band and my music. So yeah, it's not like all that education went to waste, guys. I, I'm using it almost every day. So all right, guys. I'll talk to you tomorrow. Peace. Good night.